hello everyone today i'll show you uh, how xor and an or gate this kind of logical gate as you know already by now and this kind of gate works in assembly language and the coding implementation of and or an xor gate in emu 8080 software which is uh, very good for assembly language coding and i will show you the code in emu 8080 software but now i need to tell you that if you don't know what is and what is or and what is xor gate you need to understand it and so i made a powerpoint presentation to make you understand it and then go to the course segment so for and gate we know that if the two conditions this operands if the two conditions value are zero zero uh, it means both of them are zero the output will be after and operation the zero if one of them is zero see here is zero and one so our output will be zero here a is one b is zero output is zero but when the both of them having uh, one output then the final output would be one so it is in obviously in binary so we only know zero and one if both of them are one then only the output will be one if one of them zero then the output would be zero that is the end gate and then if we go to the next slide the or gate to table so for the logic for the or gate is that if one of the gate is one here one of the gate is one so the answer is output is one one of the gate is one output is one here both of the gate are one so the output is one but when the both of the input are zero such as a zero and b both of them are zero the output would be zero so make sure you clear about it so now go to the exo truth table for exo truth table we need to understand if a and b both operands input are different suppose here a's operand input is zero and for b it is one so they are totally different from each other then the exo output would be one here is the same a value is one and b input value will zero so the output for the XOR of AB will be 1 and on the other hand if one uh, both of the operand gets the same uh, input such as 1 and 1 or 0 or 0 both of them are 0 or both of them are 1 they are same so then the XOR would be 0 for double 1 it would be 0 for double 0 input it would be 0 but for different input 0 and 1 or 1 or 0 it would get 1. So now I need to go to the emu 80 software uh, to see how the code runs and how the code system works there for this and or or XOR operation. Let's go. 0 AC software. So make sure you have downloaded the software. So first I want to show this is an and operation going on. So the things that we need to write in assembly language I am going to write those dot model is small dot stack 100 h dot code segment and then main process then we have our main process and in the main process this four line i don't want to under make you understand this i will tell about it in next video or the previous video you can watch uh, why i write dot model dot stack these things are very common in assembly language in all the codes we need to write it so make sure you have understood about it so the main thing i am going to do here is move a bl resistor to 101b so that means i take a 101 which is a binary number b for binary i take this value and store in in bl bl is stored 101b and we need to do end operation we are doing an end operation so we need to do end bl make sure i did on the capital letter bl comma 110 we are doing end operation of 101 and 110 so what would be 
वन जीरो वन एंड वन वन जीरो इफ वी डू दिस सो वील गेट द एंसर वन एंड जीरो सो द एंड ऑपरेशन वुड बी जीरो फाइनल एंसर फाइनल एंसर आवर वुड बी वन जीरो जीरो आफ्टर एंडिंग आफ्टर एंड ऑपरेशन बिकॉज वन जीरो इज जीरो एंड जीरो वन इज ऑबियसली जीरो एंड वन वन इज वन फॉर एंड ऑपरेशन सो दैट इज द मेन पार्ट एंड देन वील जस्ट एड बी एल उथ फोर्टी एट फॉर परफेक्ट डेसिमल वैल्यू एंड देन उल डू आवर रेस्ट ऑफ द कोड लाइक बिफोर मूव एज टू फॉर प्रिंटिंग दवर डिजाइट रिजल्ट and dl make sure it in capital and if you write it in a small letter this will also work fine no problem and this two line move h comma 2 and move uh, dl comma bl for the output of the program and if you want to see the output result after doing the and operation and we will write interrupt 21h and then we need to write some ending code for dos exit which are move h comma 4ch you need to memorize it you nothing is important here interrupt 21h and main end p end main so the main operation here is move uh, we need to store 101 b this value binary value in bl and then we need to end operation with another value 110 and we will do this uh, numbers end operation if we do this end operation we get um, this result 100 after we did our end operation this is the final result after doing these two values end so 100 let's see what we get if we emulate this and run this we get 4 we get this four value and this four value is in decimal and this 100 is in binary if we convert it to decimal it will get 4 and for converting into decimal i added 40 bl with 48 for this is the line that how we'll get the decimal number for 100 we will get four decimal number if it was 101 then we would get uh, five in decimal so now i am doing or operation there or operation there and these are all the same keeping all this in the same position and now we'll do just change it to or operation and all the remaining things are same if we do the or operation then we will get the final result of if 1 plus 1 which is 1 and 0 and 1 which is 1 and 1 1 which is also 1 so triple 1 so if we click it and run it we will get 7 because 111 is equals to is equals to 7 in decimal 111 is equals to 7 in decimal after or operation after or operation and if we do the same for the xor just make it xor here i am doing an xor operation of this two binary value then make sure you change it to xor so what we will get the value will change one one there are two different value so for xor operation different value means one we will get one 
and 0 and 1 means different value 1 and this 1 and 1 are same value so we'll get 0 here so 0 1 1 would be our uh, result for our operation uh, with this 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 input the final answer would be 0 1 1 so let's see if we emulate this um, we'll get 3 it means 0 1 1 binary it is in binary 0 1 1 if we decimal convert it to decimal it will get 3 we will get 3 value after doing XOR operation so these are the main basic for XOR and animation make sure you see that also let me show that for XOR truth table the both input are same get 0 both input are different get 1 and both input are same 0 and OR operation if one of them is 1 then the output would be 1 if one of them is 1 the output is 1 if both of them are 0 then the output would be 0 if both of them 1 then output is 1 and the for end operation the, if one of them is 0 then uh, the answer would be 0 if, one, if both of them are 1 then the output would be 1 so I think you understand uh, the coding implement and the uh, truth table of XOR and an operation in assembly language. I show you the uh, coding and the PowerPoint presentation in my video and I hope you will like my video and please subscribe to my channel and I will um, Upload a lot of assembly language coding system and the uh, tutorial on it uh, So please subscribe to my channel as you stay tuned with us. Thanks